A first update on Cyclone Amara, which is currently located in the southern Indian Ocean, the first named storm in this region, currently with winds of 60 miles per hour with a pressure of 985 millibars, intensifying steadily at the moment. Its current position 16.1 degrees south, 71.4 degrees east as of 9 p.m. UTC, December 17th. The storm is expected to move towards the west, a little bit of a southward element perhaps developing over the next few days as it intensifies, uh, likely to be a Category 1 cyclone, possibly pushing the high end of that status so we could be looking at 80 possibly 90 miles per hour storm as it heads towards Mauritius and its associated islands of Rodrigue and St Brandon um, and could affect all of those areas over the next few days as the storm passes through. The, the track intensity there's a little bit of uncertainty around it at the moment uh, but it does appear that as if the storm will curve towards the south possibly between uh, Mauritius and the very small island of Rodrigue towards its east and then move towards the southeast and eventually turn post-tropical. Sea surface temperatures are fairly warm right now around 26 to 28 degrees celsius certainly warm enough to sustain tropical cyclone development for now this is what the models are saying right now the cmc model you can see first of all two storms off towards the northwest of the picture here um, which is the two storms that are currently active it also develops a new system off the northern tip of australia as well the cape york peninsula that's one to watch too over the next few days the gfs model i believe has something similar with regards to the two storms we already have right now um, amara and 4s which just formed in the past few minutes um, both of those storms there you can see traversing the southern indian ocean with amara stalling quite a bit just north of mauritius that's what the gfs is currently proposing so let's look at the latest satellite imagery loops. You can see the floater imagery on Amara over the past few hours. Not the best quality imagery, but you can still see generally what the storm's doing right now. Um, certainly wrapping itself up by the looks of things and intensifying. Um, certainly establishing its core there. No sign of an eye or anything like that just yet, but I imagine we may see something along those lines in the next 24 to 48 hours um, as it becomes a hurricane equivalent uh, cyclone. Uh, the storm's currently moving slowly towards the west. You can't really see it too well here, but it is a slow movement towards the west, almost stationary, but moving fairly slowly, uh, just west to southwest over the, uh, over the past day or so. So let's take a look at the current tropics right now, December 17th as of 9pm UTC. It's only the South Indian Ocean where we have storms active at the moment, Amara and 4S which just formed in the past hour or so. I imagine that one will be named before long as that appears to be strengthening too. Invest 93B just off the coast of Sri Lanka as well, but there really isn't much um, of that system at the moment as you can see here on the satellite imagery but you can see both storms Amara and 4S in the southern Indian Ocean there a fair distance from each other at the moment but that may change over the next few days 4S may traverse the southern Indian Ocean and draw closer to Amara possibly causing a little bit of a change in track so there is a bit of uncertainty because of that uh, 2013 slash 14 compared so far we have two tropical storms of course um, one of which has been named in the southern Indian Ocean excluding the Australian region which is 90 east uh, and beyond um, that which is behind the 1987-88 season uh, by quite a way so far which had five storms and three of which reaching hurricane intensity uh, but I imagine that will change over the next um, few months or so or weeks perhaps as the case may be uh, you can track this storm and indeed any of the storms that form out there in the world at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking html is the main page for all the storm tracking information showing you the whole world at a glance and then you can navigate um, to each individual region of interest where we have current storms for some additional information you can also follow force 13's updates elsewhere on the web at facebook and twitter to search force 13 on either of those mediums and you should find us fairly easily enough stay up to date with the video updates by subscribing to the channel and uh, if you have any direct comments to me you can send them via private message or by direct email but until until the next update, which will follow in a bit in a day or two. That's all for now.